Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video I'm going to create a face-based family. Let's say we're going to need a painting over there. I'm going to go to the home menu. I'm going to create a new family. Uh, usually the sizes of the frames are in imperial, like uh, they're in inches. So I'm going to go with imperial and I want to go with maybe generic model face-based. See that we have so many other face-based uh, families. Uh, Wall-based is also a kind of a uh, face base, it's similar in nature. Uh, I'll go with this one for now, generic model face base, hit open. And uh, you see that there is already an object here, so the top of it is going to be considered the face, no matter that face is vertical or horizontal. So I'm going to go here, let's say I'm going to go with inches today, I might go with UN, I might put this on length, maybe fractional inches. And for today's purpose, maybe up to 1 16th should be good. I want to have inches symbol. Okay and okay. So first I'm going to draw two reference planes offset. Maybe I will go with 15 inches and the left and right, top and bottom. Hit escape DI from here to here to here is going to be equal. And we're going to have a size here, which this one, for the total width, so I'm going to assign a parameter called width. Maybe uh, the frame width is going to be different. I'll say OK. I'm going to get another dimension from here to here to here. For this total here, I'm going to assign a different parameter. Maybe it could be the height. Uh, this is the width and height of the framing that I have in mind. This looks good, so let's say maybe it's uh, 30 by 20, for instance. So if I change this to 20, it's going to change in size. Next, I'll need some reference planes for the frame. So I'm going to go with RP. I'm going to pick this line, let's say, by 1 inch, for instance. OK, so I'm going to click here, hit a space. It's going to be on the other side. Also one here. I'm going to have another one here and another one here. I'm going to hit escape DI. I want to get this dimension and I want to assign this to be the thickness of the frame. I might go with frame underline thickness. So this should be good. Do the other thing for this edge. Assign the same thickness from here. Don't create it again. Hit escape DI here to here, here to here. And this one is also going to be frame thickness. This one is also going to be frame thickness. There we go. Now that we have our reference planes, I'm going to go with create extrusion. I'm going to pick reference planes, this one, this one, this one, this one, and the ones on the inside. If you pick reference planes instead of drawing, it's always going to be bounded to those parameters for length and height. I'm going to trim the edges. Uh, finish this. Let's look at it from front view. And you see it goes up that way. Let's say for the extrusion end, I want to create a new parameter. And I'm going to say this is my uh, frame depth. Right, uh, so I'll go with frame depth for this one. Let's say maybe my frame depth is going to be only half an inch. So where it says depth, or maybe it's a little bit deeper, two inches. I'll hit apply, I'll hit OK. Let's look at it here. And I want to select this to the material. I'm going to say associate a new material, create a new material parameter. It's going to be material of the frame. Uh, all looks good. I said OK and OK. I'll go back to my reference level and I'm going to need a panel for the back side of it. So I'll go with Create Extrusion. I'm going to pick the inside reference planes. Again, I'm picking reference planes. I'm not drawing lines. Picking reference planes in families works much better than drawing lines. I'm going to finish this, look at it from the front side. And this one should be maybe only a quarter of an inch. That looks good. Uh, I'm not going to change this one 
to be a parameter because uh, this is just where uh, the photo or the painting goes. The one that matters is the depth of the frame, right? So let's say to this one's material, you probably won't see it. It's going to be behind the picture uh, or behind the painting, but either way, I might associate it with a new material parameter. I'm going to go with material underlying panel. Okay and okay. Let's try our uh, dimensions. Let's say if it's 29 inches, it's responding. That's good. I might go with 18 inches for the height. I might go with three quarters of an inch for the thickness, uh, which is this side here. And for the depth, I'll leave it on two inches. Or maybe for the depth of it, I'll go a little bit thinner, one and a half, hit apply. Now it's all good, hit OK. I'm going to save this family. Uh, this is my frame family. I'm going to go with the options one back up, load this into project. And if I go with my component, it's going to be there. It says it cannot place because work plane is not suitable or at a very sharp angle. That's fine. What I can do is that I can actually go to a section view or something. So I'll go here. I'm going to go with WT. So I have two views here. And I'm going to pick the interior side of this wall on level one. So I'll go with set, pick a plane, pick this plane. Then I want to go to my section one. Now I can put that component uh, here. Hit escape. I'm going to go with TW to go back to my tab views. And let's say if I select it, I want to see from the top of the floor to here. Maybe I'll go with five feet, which is about one and a half meter. Or maybe I'll lower it a bit. Four feet should be better. That's good. I might be aligning that with the center of this uh, sofa. Uh, and see that the parameters that you created, they're all available here. And even though the units are in meters, let's say if I want to have a specific uh, value in inches, if I say, for instance, the width, I want it to be... Uh, like 20 inches, it's going to automatically convert it to uh, meters. So you can just insert your values in inches if you need. I'm going to go back with 29 inches. The rest of it seems good. Hit OK. If I put this on uh, texture, for instance, you see there is no material here. So I can cl uh, click on it, go to edit type. For the frame, I'm going to assign a new material. I'm going to see what type of a wood I have in this project. Uh, maybe I'll go with this one. Uh, this is the wood that I use for the edges of my uh, timber curtain wall. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK. Uh, if you were interested in other uh, families in this project, like the sofa or the uh, timber curtain wall that you see here, they're all uh, in the playlist of advanced families. Let's get back to the 3D view. Uh, it's over there. It all looks good. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use decal to assign uh, a painting or an image or a photo to be fit within this face-based family. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.